Okay, I'm going to sit here and watch a movie called Feast. It's directed or produced something like that by um, Matt Damon, uh, Ben Affleck, and a couple of others. I don't have the cover because it's a rental and, you know, it's like uh, they just give you the clear case, so I can't flash the cover. But it looks rather interesting, kind of gory, which I'm a freak that way. I like gore. I like horror. So I will let you know how it is whenever I get back. Alright, bye bye. Wish you luck. Just got done watching Feast. Oh dear God, you have to watch this movie. Freaking hilarious. I mean, absolutely hilarious. It's it, it's supposed to be it's a horror comedy, if that makes sense to anybody. Um, although it wasn't really, I didn't find it so much of a horror as I did more of a, a gore. But even the gore is funny. And it just, it's just funny. It was just really, 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 really good. I really enjoyed it. I'm probably going to wind up buying the movie just once I get done moving, you know. I got priorities right now. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to wind up buying this movie just to watch it again. And I have it for the next couple of days, so I'm probably going to watch it again maybe tomorrow or something. But, um, oh, my God. If you want to laugh, and you're kind of into gore, or even if you're not into gore, but you just really want to kind of laugh, watch the movie. Just watch it. It, it. It's just way funny. I mean, as they're introducing the characters, they give you, like, a, the screen stops, it goes to a still frame, and you get name, fun fact, and life expectancy. Only... Nobody goes by their actual names. Everybody's called something like the Troublemaker or Grandma or something like that. Um, and it's fun facts are stupid, like, you know, waitress for life or lifetime waitress or something like that or whatever. You know, it just kind of introduces the character as if maybe you were even reading it on the script, but not really. Um, then the life expectancy, they're just, the whole film is sarcastic. The whole film is freaking funny. Um, it, it's, oh my god, it, way funny, way funny, um, yeah, rent it, you know, Netflix it, however you get your movies, check it out, it, it, I thought it was very well worth it, and I only got it at my little 99 cent store up the road, so it was really good, had some really big names in it, um, like Jason Muse was in it, he's from Jay and Silent Bob, he's Jay, he was actually very quiet and calm for him. Um, Henry Rollins. Henry Rollins in pink sweatpants. Women's sweatpants for, like, most of the movie. You can't beat that. Um, Judah Friedlander, who's always funny. I don't think I've seen him in anything where he wasn't actually kind of funny or and or sarcastic. Um, Balthazar Getty, which I think he was in, like, The O.C. and a couple of other TV shows. Um, so... Yeah, no, it was way funny. I mean, it, it, these monsters, they're horny. They're so freaking horny. At one point, there was a monster that humped a deer head. A monster humping a deer head. Just get that picture in your head for a minute. As soon as I saw that, I laughed so hard, I think I woke up every last rat in the house. I have 11 of them, pets. I don't have any wild rats in the house that I'm aware of. But, um, yeah, no, they all jumped. But... No, God. Oh, my God. It was so funny. I'm going to have to watch this again. It was just way too funny. Get the movie. Watch it. Rent it. Whatever. Well worth it. Very well worth it. Just, like I said, thinking about monster something deer heads. Henry Rollins in pink women's sweatpants for most of the film. It, yeah. Get a group of your friends around and watch this movie. That would probably be the best way. I live alone. I watch movies alone. Get a group of your friends. Sit down. Watch this thing movie.